Hey everyone, it's Hannah, um, and I'm just going to do a look on um, neutral browns for your eyes because um, I think you've seen me with heavier makeup, and I just wanted to do some soft browns and um, just pale shadows. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to take some concealer. Um, I'm going to take this color as a base because I don't really like using anything but concealer as a base. I feel like it does a better job of not creasing. Um, and just pat that on your lid. Just make sure you get it on there pretty thoroughly. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, sort of go under the eye and make sure that has a good base too. Just like that. Okay. A uh, little messed up there. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to take um, sort of a darker color and I'm going to it's, it's a darker than what we're going to be using now. Um, and it's going to be this uh, color from the Rimmel palette. Um, just with any old flat brush. Flat brush. And I just pat that onto the lid just to get the lid just slightly darker. Don't go above the lid though. As you can see, it's really darkened. Same thing with the other eye. Just really pat it on. Okay. Um, now, as you can see, this is a little bit darker than what we're going for. So we're going to take um, this 88 palette. Um, from Coastal Scents, and I'm just going to take um, just a very neutral color. It's this one. I don't know if you saw that. It's hard to angleize that. And I'm going to take a huge tip I'm just going to get a little bit of that color on there. It's very matte, and just like that. And just go over that other brown color. And as you can see, it's getting paler. And that's what we're going for. If you learn how to use Q-tips as makeup brushes, I think they work really good. Like, it's hard for me because I'm so lazy and busy that um, I don't really have time to clean brushes because I'm, I don't know. I have theories about things like that. Okay, now as you can see, it's not exactly light, but it's paler. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this Bare Essentials Blending Eye Brush and um, just blend it slightly upward. To give it kind of a smoky effect. Wow, this color does not like to blend. Alright, um, and then you're just going to go slightly above the crease with um, a neutral color. Any one will work. Um, I'm just going to use this pale color from the same 88 palette and I'm going to be using a blending fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go in with that color and um, above the crease and up to the brow bone with it. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take Gesso by MAC. Um, it's just a very white color. And thank you, color, for getting on my lap. I knew it was going to do that. And just pat that into the, wa the water line, the inner color, inner corner. Jeez. 
Seems to happen a lot on YouTube videos. Somehow you just can't talk. And now it's blend it out. And then the last thing that I'm going to do to complete the sort of natural look is I'm going to go in with um, Concrete by MAC, which is um, not exactly a soft brown, but it'll do. And I'm just going to go in with the same flat brush that I had before. Pat a little bit of that color on. Just like that. And go in the inner, inner corners. I'm sort of halfway there. Okay, and then um, that does it for the eyeshadows. Except it wouldn't hurt to do more blending. But yeah, it's pretty smoky if you ask me that I'm going to go in with um, a wet n wild eyeliner stick. Just like that. It's not sharp, but it'll do. And on the waterline, slightly under the waterline. And then on the upper lash. Alright, and then the last thing that we're going to do is we're just going to take um, a mascara. I'm going to use Extra Super Lash, which is by Rimmel, which has this really cool wand that is curvy. Just like that. And um, we're going to go on pretty heavy because with a natural look, it's always nicer to go on heavier. And just really focus on these lashes. Make your eyelashes like wings, because that's what makes them look bigger. Especially if you're using a wand that is similar to this. And then, um, a little bit on these lower lashes, and, um, you're done. So, thanks for watching, and, um, see you guys soon. Bye.